Hi students, I'm sorry I couldn't be here today, um, but because I'm not here, you still need to be able to take some notes and do some learning. You're going to take some notes in figurative language and sound devices today. Figurative language should sound familiar to you. It's something that we've done before. Remember that it's language that isn't real, but it's meant to, pa to paint a picture or emotion more clearly. And then sound devices should also sound a little familiar maybe from last year. Sound devices create music with words. There are tons of examples of figurative language that writers use. However, we've gone over five before, and these are the five that we'll continue to use throughout the year. Simile, metaphor, hyperbole, personification, and symbolism. In addition to the five examples of figurative language that we have learned before, you're going to add five more terms to your bank of knowledge, um, and these are examples of sound devices, alliteration, assonance, repetition, onomatopoeia, and rhyme. We're going to try to go through some of these figurative languages really, really fast because we've learned them before. Remember simile? It's when you make a comparison between two unlike objects using the words like or as. For example, she is as strong as an ox, it is as cold as ice, and life is like the highway. Metaphors are like simile, except you're still making a comparison between two unlike objects, but now you are not using the words like or as. For example, my wife is a beautiful rose, my dog is a monster, and my life is a puzzle. Hyperboles are the ones that I say teenagers use a lot. Remember that hyperboles are an over-exaggeration. For example, I'm starving, or I'm bored to death, or school is the worst thing ever. Personification is one of my favorites. It's when you give something that is not alive, human-like qualities. For example, the candle danced in the wind. Candles can actually dance. Um, the wind sang through the trees, and my heart spoke to me. Your heart can't actually talk to you. We learned symbolism on that day that Ms. Corbin and I switched our classes. But remember, symbolism is when an object represents a bigger, more meaningful idea. Like the flag, we talked about how for some it represents freedom. We talked about the color red and how sometimes it represents anger or love. I know that was a lot but hopefully it was review and sounded familiar. Up ahead, you're going to learn five new terms, which are our five new sound devices. Make sure you pause or rewind when you need to so that you can write this down in your notes. Alliteration. Alliteration is when you repeat the beginning sounds of words, and then you can hear that when you read poems out loud. So for example, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. That P sound is repeated, and that's an example of alliteration. This next one kind of sounds like a bad word, but it's not, and it's actually very similar to alliteration. Assonance is when you repeat the vowel sounds of words, kind of like an internal rhyme. For example, try to light the fire. You could also add on Friday, right, that I sound. Repetition is when a word or phrase is repeated multiple times. So for example, like from Dr. Seuss's book, one fish, two fish, three fish, blue fish. And we could just keep going with more fish. Um, but repetition draws your attention to important parts. This one is a fun one. This one is onomatopoeia. It's when the word is the sound. So for example, the door slammed. The water dripped into the sink. Crash, wham, bam, or like the panda, crunch, crunch, crunch. And for your last one today, it's an easy one. You know this. It's rhyme. It's when words sound similar. So for example, I went to the mall, and there I bought a ball. Adding on. And then I had a fall, and then I had to call my aunt Saul. All right, students, I know that was a lot. But I've also posted this into Classroom if you need to review and add to your notes. Now that you have the definitions written down, please work really hard on the rest of this packet. I'm going to collect it tomorrow. Have a great day! Created using Powtoon.